Well, it took several days, but I was finally brave enough to go outside and scrape and shovel the snow, Kevin. Good idea, Alan. It's not going to warm up a lot for the next couple of days, but at least we've been working into that uh, above zero territory uh, for a day or two. That's been nice, but now we're sliding black, uh, below zero again here in Williston, where it's one below. North wind here at nine miles per hour. No snow, and I think a majority of the snow is going to stay south of Williston. A better chance for accumulating snow toward Dickinson and the rest of southwest North Dakota. It's a rather strong system here coming out of Idaho, western Montana. Eventually, we'll see snow increasing through the plains of Montana. Uh, we're already beginning to see that a little bit. But again, we're going to see that snow chance increase here as we get into the night. We've got dry conditions now in North Dakota. It is cold, of course. We are now in the single digits everywhere, either above or just below zero. And again, snow chances will take some time here, but especially after midnight sweeping through. Uh, the western, generally third of North Dakota into northern South Dakota. We're actually below zero in a few more places now, like in Minot and Garrison at minus two. It's four above in Bismarck. Not a lot of wind, right around five to 15 miles per hour. That wind's going to ramp up here for tomorrow. But wind chills right now still in the teens below zero for most near minus 20 uh, in Minot. And again, we have a wind chill advisory for tonight across the northern tier of county. Snow forecast now. This is for tonight into tomorrow night. Less than an inch for most areas from Williston toward Bandan and Bismarck into Emmons County and north. It's more or less between Mandan and Dickinson. We've got about a one to two inch probability. Not a huge storm to speak of here and south of Williston, maybe upwards of an inch for Williston, but two to four inches in southeast portions of Montana and southwest North Dakota. Honing in on that again, Kildare and Dickinson Mott about one to two inches, but it looks like a little bit more even around Medora possibility. Weibo into Bowman Baker two to four inches of snow and bear in mind that winds could approach. 45 miles per hour by tomorrow evening, and that means blowing snow might be a bit of an issue again through Montana into West Central and Southwest North Dakota in the South Center uh, Central portion of the state and North Central South Dakota as well. Best chances for that blowing snow potential. This is early afternoon at two o'clock. Winds not terribly strong, but still strong enough here with near zero degree temperatures around 30 miles per hour, but it begins to ramp up even more 40, maybe 45 mile per hour winds expected for tomorrow night. And again, with that fresh snow with temps near zero, we could have near white out conditions, especially in open areas by mid to late evening tomorrow evening. Not much of a threat here of having bad weather this evening. Temps hour by hour. We're sliding below zero, but we're not going to be nearly as cold as where we've been. But around minus five is an overall average 3 a.m. Better chances for accumulating snow again, West Central and Southwest North Dakota. Sub zero during the morning, light snow showers, Southern North Dakota. Not a lot of accumulation here, but that wind around 20 to 30 miles per hour and another weaker wave coming in from the north here tomorrow that also will produce areas of blowing snow. Seven day forecast again, it looks better longer term. That's for sure. But here we go. The last in a series of Arctic waves moving through tonight, tomorrow. Better conditions starting Saturday. Still cold, but it's a south wind. That's the key for a warm up here. South winds up to 35, 40, and then more of a westerly wind next week. That's when we get above freezing. All right. Thank you very much. Yeah.